Cincinnati's certified most accurate forecast. Now, have you ever been in a hot air balloon? I have not. I have, I have not, not either, mm. but I want to. They are so beautiful up in the air. You know, there might be a nice breeze. Uh, Good night. Let's hope. Uh, just stay away from the burner, right? That's so true. <laughs> what have you? Uh, it, it is going to be dangerously hot today, yeah. and we'll see a few showers and thunderstorms. And of course, I should mention uh, yeah? there may be a few showers and storms in the Middletown area tonight. Uh, that uh, balloon uh, challenge goes off. Good what, to know. Four to ten thirty tonight. So just, I mean, they definitely won't send those balloons up. Yeah. If we've got any kind of. Keep bad a weather. check on that weather. Yeah, absolutely. Let's uh, head outside right now. We've had a couple showers and storms out there uh, even this morning. Not in a whole lot of areas, but. Uh, parts of southeast Indiana, Fayette Franklin Union, you had a little uh, thunderstorm move through some areas of those counties, and now we are seeing just some very spotty stuff that keeps developing uh, in the very warm, moist, unstable air mass. You can see uh, one thunderstorm there just about to move into the Mason area, not all that far from Kings Island there. Uh, some other uh, cells there over parts of Warren County, and even uh, one just south of the uh, Wilmington National Weather Service, another one over the extreme eastern part there of Clinton County, and we'll continue to see this uh, off and on as we head through about the next hour or so. There's a lot more development back to the north and to the northwest, and later on this afternoon, and as we head into the evening, a little better chance of seeing some of this development move a little farther to the south, and we'll see some showers and storms. Some of this could be on the strong side. We'll have to watch that. Uh, we are in a slight risk of strong to severe thunderstorms throughout the day today, and something else we're in uh, this area of heat, a heat advisory in effect for Tri-State, not included in that heat advisory would be Clinton, Highland, and Adams counties, but all other counties are and upgraded from a heat advisory is Hamilton County, the city of Cincinnati under an excessive heat warning. We're talking about heat indices as hot as maybe 105, 106. That's the combination of the air temperature and the humidity. And look at that heat uh, wave. It stretches all the way into Kansas, down into Oklahoma, Nebraska, Iowa, a big chunk of the nation is almost boiling. Uh, it is going to be that hot, dangerously hot, so take it easy. Temperatures over the last uh, 12 hours. Here's what has happened. Uh, we did have temperatures in the 80s last night at 7 o'clock. Look at that. All, not all that far away from uh, the 90 degree mark, even at 7. The record high yesterday, 108. The record high today, 108. We won't get near that uh, temperature wise, but right now we sit at, uh, well, there you can see we're at 78 degrees. That is the latest temperature. Here's temperatures around the uh, tri-state region. Pretty much everybody uh, in the 70s this morning. Yeah, uh, Hamilton, 78 degrees. There's the airport at 78. Florence, 77. Dillsboro, Versailles, both checking in at 77 degrees. Tonight, Jason Aldean will check in at Riverbend Music Center there right along the Ohio River at Coney Island. It's going to be a big concert. It's a sold-out concert, and there could be a shower or thunderstorm at some point during that concert. Slow-moving frontal boundary. It's north of the tri-state. It will sink a little bit uh, farther to the south later on this evening, bring an increasing threat of a few showers and thunderstorms. And well, in the meantime, it's going to be hazy, hot and definitely humid. FC Cincinnati, they will play tonight at Nippert Stadium, 7 o'clock. They are going to play the City Islanders, Harrisburg City and temperatures in the 90s when that game begins in the upper 70s as it ends. So there's the frontal boundary sinking off to the south. And we will continue to see that increasing threat for a few showers and thunderstorms as we head throughout the day. Uh, 92 degrees, that will be our high today. Tonight will drop into the uh, mid 70s, so a very muggy night tonight with a few showers and storms. And then as we head through the day tomorrow, more of the same deal. And then we dry out for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. It will still be quite warm, though, with temperatures in the 80s.